let's just start with an English game. First game of the day. Opposite. Uh... Nein. Yes, ab. Sir. Justus, ab. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Hey, Sir. Read ending. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Friedera. Fuerte. Last time I played English against Abbasid, Camels proved much more annoying than anticipated. I assume Camel Archers. I assume you mean Camel Archers, right? Were they denying your... Or sniping your spearmen? That's what I'm seeing them used for right now. You like... Um, you make horsemen and then you use camel archers to snipe spearmen. Essentially. You guys have sound? Oh, now it should be back. Man, these doggies are running all over the the room and they're having a negative impact on my cable setup. Good like that. Test, test, test. God. This guy is running six. Cool. Test. Oh, this is gonna get annoying if they continue. Yeah, I know the dog keeps the dogs keep running over my cable setup. So for some reason, it's on. It's doing something to my. Uh, it's doing something to my, uh, especially my microphone, audio cable. All 
Alright, fairly late for you, Lich, by me. Five minutes. Yes, it's stable already. So first time I'm playing a little bit like this, where I'm kind of just going sort of defensive-ish. On stone, you must go for second TC. Makes a lot of sense. I'm just gonna build up my longbow numbers for now. I will eventually switch into Spearman. But for now I will just focus mainly on my longbow production. God. Mizu, nine! Jesus, Loises! Ruby has done Abu Kings, forward barracks, an arm spam, and it worked. Against what Civ? And did he do the Abbey of Kings forward? Question mark? Or was it just about. Oh, whenever the man arms are wounded, he brings them back. And. Brings them back and heals them up. Me, Justus, up. Mizu, up. Why are they so restless now? Forward Abbey of Kings. Mongols and hybrid map. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. Was it against a good player? Like a good opponent? Where's the scout? I hear the bell. I found him. That's a bit of an overcommitment by him. He's not gonna get kills. Because I should make um, a barracks now. I'm gonna try to make something happen. We got healthy numbers. Try to figure out where his TC is. Very, I, I don't. It's a very passive way of playing English. Let's put it like that. Why am I running through the TC? Yes, a range as well. Some cam launchers. I'm gonna go double barracks now. Let's try that. Double barracks into... Oh, he actually survived. I thought he was dead. Double barracks into ram push. Let's see how it goes. I can see our downfall being just our spearman numbers. Not being good enough. What do we have with 20? It's a lot, actually. It's a very late push. Very late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
which has allowed him to set up the eco, his eco exactly how he wants as well. I think that was okay for me. An okay fight. Sniped all of those. Yeah, let's go. The p -p -p push is happening. Hope you didn't see my wills. I want to get this tower fairly forward. No need a surplus of wood for rams. Yeah, this goes. I think my main issue right now is actually my longbow numbers are very low. If he gets to cast Lage behind this and gets mana arms, I'm dead anyway, so this push has to come fast. Let's see. He's making a ton of one of those. See when he chooses to engage. Not yet. Looks like the timing is now. Feels like this should be a good fight for me. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. So in theory, I think this is a bad... It should, on paper, maybe be a bad way to play against Abbasid. Because Abbasid just gets completely smooth economy development with 2TC and everything to set up perfectly. But then again, what I essentially did now was get good eco running while building longbow numbers. The longbow numbers will keep me safe in case he did any type of aggression. And then I just transitioned to a double barracks once my eco is set up. So I get the Spearman numbers. And the Camel Arches are very expensive. And he made like 7, 8 of them in total. Which is like very expensive. There's 2k more food. We have 2k more wood. He has more gold. His eco is better. He obviously has way more wills. 20 more wills. Hmm. Feels weird to play that way, but at least it worked this game. I think it could be punished by a faster cast ledge or something. If he was able to hit like cast ledge one or two minutes earlier, he could have made men arms. But the question is if he takes damage by trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> 